Leia came from a puppy mill, and during a raid on that puppy mill, she was rescued. At about 12 weeks old, we adopted her from a shelter in Maryland. Leia! She was so cute. Leia! And so sweet and so gentle. The big sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Dad's coming back. On October 11th of 2022, my husband took her to visit a neighbor. Someone who didn't live there left a door open and Leia just walked outside. I think she got the scent of maybe some deer in the area and chased them. Pretty quickly, everyone was looking for her, but couldn't find her. She disappeared over a week ago and we're trying really desperately to find her. We thought maybe someone had stolen her because there was just no sign of her at all. And this amazing group in Maryland called Lost and Found Pets of Anne Arundel County. They reached out to me and they said, you know, you need to be putting up signs immediately. We got connected with them and then eventually connected with a woman in the group named Donna who does a lot of rescue work as a volunteer. She helped us hang signs all over the area. It was about three weeks before we got our first sighting of her. A really nice couple who had been driving down the road, they looked out their window and they see standing in the woods. So we walked into the woods and sure enough, she was standing back there, probably about 50 feet away from me, but she was just in this like panic mode and she saw people and she ran. She just kept running, running, running. And we got several calls that night from people who saw her, but she never stayed in one place long enough for us to catch up to her. I've been told that when a dog is in survival mode, primal instincts get triggered and dogs in survival mode are focused on food, shelter and avoiding humans. She went further into the woods where she felt safe and she wasn't near strangers. Every night, my husband would go out and drive around the area just looking for any sign of her. Mark said, she's still out there and she's waiting for us to find her. I reached back out to Donna with the rescue group and I just said, we don't know what to do. And that's when she really got involved and started helping us set up feeding stations, traps, even more signs, and just doing everything we could to locate her. We probably hung around 150 signs. Unfortunately, some of them would get taken down by businesses or highway patrol. We were out every single weekend putting up new signs, refreshing signs. 7 a.m. I am in my car and I'm about to go check um, one of the food stations that we left out for Leia. Two days before New Year's Eve, she showed up in a set of woods about four miles away. This amazing, generous human named Amanda, she was in her office working. She looked out her window and she said, why is there a dog standing on the edge of the woods? And she went out and drove around the area and found one of our signs and contacted us. And that's how we found out where she was hiding. Totally different area than where she'd been seen originally. We set up a trap, we set up a food station, we set up cameras. These were all loaned to us by Donna, free of charge. She's just an angel. Donna brought out what's called the Missy Trap. It took about two and a half hours to put together. It's a six foot by 12 foot pen built by an engineer who Donna had helped before. So this man built this giant Missy Trap for her with a laser, um, like a laser trip. When the dog would go past the laser, it would make the door shut and lock. We had to get her to go into the pen far enough to trip the laser and make the door close. We got her on camera, but she wasn't going all the way in the pen where she could get trapped. It was about a five square mile section of woods. It was just really horrifying to think that we're responsible for this dog and her happiness and her well-being. And because of a fluke accident, now she's lost and we can't fix it. We would sit up at night aware that it was so cold outside and just think of her huddled up somewhere alone, scared, cold, not really able to go to sleep. We accidentally did trap a few animals. We trapped possum a couple of different times. I think it was the same possum twice. He was very persistent, so had to go out and shake him out and go on, buddy, this isn't for you. We knew she was coming back to that area. We got her on camera just about every day. 
She would eat some of the food we had left out, but she wasn't going all the way in the pen. It took us about two weeks of slowly getting her acclimated to the presence of that trap in her area and then feeling comfortable enough to go inside and follow the trail of food to the back. And finally, Donna says, we got her. You've got to go out there. And it makes me start to cry now because we really thought we were never going to get her back. It's not Alea. It was such an exciting moment to go out and walk down into those woods and have her see me and know who I was. It's okay. It's okay. It's mommy. It's okay. No! I know. I know, I hear you. I hear you. Hey, baby, do you remember me? She sat down and she sniffed and licked my hands and then she whined and pawed at the door. She was like, take me home now. <laughs> Hi, friends. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this baby. She was very anxious. It's slowly improving. Yeah. The crazy thing was that my husband had been transferred for a new job, and so he'd had to move. I stayed in Maryland to keep looking for her. I was calling him. I'm like, we got her. <laughs> and he FaceTimed her and talked to her. Say hi to Papa. I have no idea how she survived. I'm not sure what she ate. She's definitely been more reactive since we got her back. Okay. Open the door. Open the door. More anxious, more nervous about walking through doorways. It's all right. <laughs> It's okay. She had lost a third of her body weight, but she's doing really well. Now she's a lot snugglier than before. She's more likely to come and sit next to you on the couch. Can you go in? No. Oh, we're a dog. Oh, it's my dog. Hey, dog. He's really a dog. Hey, dog. What you do? You run away now. Hi. She used to always sleep at the foot of the bed, and now she wants to be right up next to us, snuggled up and close. Since getting her back, I just look at her and my heart, <laughs> my heart feels tight. What? What? You have opinions? It just makes me that much more determined to keep her safe and make sure she has a wonderful life for as long as we're blessed to have her.